Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboom.com and today I want to share with you seven essentials for a backyard chicken coop. Keeping with the theme of the last video that I did, I'm gonna share more of our little backyard homestead. I talked to you guys about our quarter acre that we have in town and I showed you a garden tour last time. A lot of you have asked me about our chickens and our setup for that. We actually are planning on changing some of that up. We wanna build a couple of A-frame chicken coops that are much easier to move. For right now, they're in a coop that we purchased on Craigslist several years ago. And the system that we do is we have a stretch of grass that runs along the side of our house and we like to take that coop and just move it along each day so that they have a patch of grass fresh to peck at and get all the bugs and everything fresh and that way the yolks stay nice and yellow and bright almost orange color which is healthier and that's what we prefer but this coop is actually not made to be moved and so we kind of have to keep it a little bit stationary right now and we want to make some new coops that are designed to be moved so this video today is in collaboration with a friend of mine her name is Jaden, and she blogs over at backyard bloom now originally i was just going to leave this post up on my blog and not really come to youtube with it but she made the most beautiful ebook for this post and I, it was completely unexpected. I just thought she was gonna send me over a post to put on the blog about backyard chickens, but she actually made this beautiful ebook that discusses all these seven essentials in a book form that you can download and keep. I thought it'd be really fun to come on here and tell you guys about that as well, just because it's a really neat resource. And for those of you who've asked me about chickens, it sounds like she really has some great tips and a beautiful way to present it with some beautiful photography and, and just a very nice guide. I'm gonna discuss those seven essentials and then if you also wanna check out the book, I will leave the download link below. Essential number one, indoor and outdoor space. They will need a place to roost and lay eggs and to take shelter in the evening. And then also they will need some outdoor space, like I mentioned before, somewhere to grab you know, bugs and plants and grass and things like that. And you'll need a certain amount of space per bird. So if you're gonna be purchasing something from maybe your local farm supply store, usually it'll be rated for a certain number of birds. Keep in mind that they only go in the shelter area when they're ready to lay an egg and then whenever it's nighttime but for the most part, they're in the main area of the coop. So the area that's the nesting area does seem kind of small, but they're able to get out into the rest of it for most of the day. If they're too confined, that could lead to things like disease and health issues. It's best if you can let the chickens roam around. I do occasionally let mine out and just let them roam all over the yard, but like I said, we live in a public place, so when one kind of goes over into a neighbor's area, I realize that we should probably not do that here in town. But if you live in an area where you don't have those kind of boundaries, uh, it's best to let them roam. They do actually stick pretty close, so sometimes I can let them out for hours without a problem, but obviously you know your area and what you can do. Essential number two is an enclosure. We had shelter for one and then something to enclose them. If you live in an area with predators, you'll need something that's even more fortified and strong. I know that they seem to get into anything. My sister lives in a more rural area and she has constant problems with predators. They need to be enclosed all around to protect them from that. Proper ventilation with doors and windows and screens is important because of obviously all of the waste that comes along with chickens. So air ventilation is essential number three. Essential number four is flooring and bedding. So some kind of straw or pine shavings. This is also really important so that eggs don't get that dirty because if they're nesting area, if you don't clean it out regularly, you'll end up with eggs that that need to be washed really, really well, which is an extra step, it's a hassle, and not only that, you can't store them at room temperature because once you wipe that coating off when you clean them, they can't sit. So I like to leave mine out in a basket, but that only works if they're nice and clean so that I don't have to actually wash them because once you wash them, you need to restore them in the refrigerator. Essential number five is a nesting box. So the chickens need somewhere to lay their eggs. Now, sometimes chickens get confused and don't know exactly where to lay the eggs. And I've seen people remedy this by putting in a fake egg or a golf ball. And a lot of times they will continue to lay in that spot because that's where they think they should if they see something like that. But somewhere where they can go in and lay their eggs as the chicken owner, it's of course more convenient if it's in a place that you can actually lift up the lid and get your hand inside without having to crawl through the coop. 
that's really important. And that's another thing we're considering with our A-frame coops is we found some plans online and they have little doors that swing up for that. So that's perfect so we can get right in to get the eggs. The sixth chicken essential is a roost of some kind. So chickens like to sleep up off the ground, kind of like a bird perched on a tree. They prefer that. It's usually recommended that you have an eight inch by two inch roosting space available per chicken. And so some kind of bar or pull for them to roost on is another backyard chicken essential. And essential number seven is probably the most obvious, and that is food and water. I have seen some great recipes online, some that I've even tried for making your own chicken feed. You can, of course, go with a very conventional feed. That's probably the cheapest option just at your local feed store. We like to go with an organic feed. My parents actually own a feed store, and so we're able to order that at a wholesale price. So that is an advantage for us. I've also seen people do a soaked or sprouted feed. So it depends on how in depth you wanna get with this. I will actually leave linked below a few recipes that I've seen online for some of these homemade chicken feed recipes. We also feed our chickens everything that is scraps in our house. So onion peels, carrot peels, even the bones from fish whenever I'm making a salmon patty, just bread scraps or if a leftover has been heated up a couple times and still nobody's eaten it, then that goes into the chicken bowl. There's always a bowl sitting on my counter full of chicken scraps and they devour basically everything. Some things that they won't eat are avocado seeds and avocado peels. Uh, my chickens won't really touch those. So those I usually leave out, but everything else goes straight to the chickens and they clean it up. They love watermelon rinds in the summer, all the garden scraps. So when you have a couple rotten tomatoes on there, they will eat all that stuff. It's really great because it makes you feel like you're not really wasting because every time that you have something that somebody didn't eat, you can throw it to your chickens and then it kind of comes back to you in the form of eggs. So it's a great sustainable way to kind of have um, no waste at all. As far as the waterer goes, my husband actually rigged up a bucket system so that he can put water into a long tube that goes into a five gallon bucket that has a spout at the bottom. So that way he doesn't have to go into the coop to water them. He can just water them from the outside, especially on a hot day. You definitely don't want them to be without water. If it's extremely hot, you might even want to put up some kind of shade if they're out in the hot sun. So those are the seven essentials for backyard chickens. Let me know in the comments below if you have chickens or if there's anything that I missed or some of your really great tips. We've had chickens for several years now. I still don't feel like an expert at it. With five kids, uh, five chickens is not enough to provide us with the number of eggs that we need. We go through more like a dozen a day, and so we don't even get half of them from our chickens, so I'd really like to expand our chicken operation. But for now, this is what we have, and it definitely makes me feel more like we live on a homestead. Check out the link for the PDF download. Beautiful little ebook done by Jaden from Backyard Bloom. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse.